Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to make a simple notepad app in Unity and welcome to episode 1. So this series is all about app development rather than game development because Unity can be used to develop apps if you so wish. And this series is going to be perfect for absolute beginners who are just venturing into app development. So we're going to go through all the things you'd expect to see within Unity and at the end of it we'll have a nice little app that we can use on our Android or Apple devices. So as I say, this series is aimed at absolute beginners and if anything you want to see, you know, add in a couple of things, then just leave a comment. The series is going to go on too long, um, I, I think probably about seven or eight tutorials. But um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So once you've got Unity, if you're not sure what to do whilst installing it, you'll have something which looks a little like this. You have to absolutely make sure that you have at least Unity installed. Uh, good idea to have standard assets installed and for the actual platforms you want to develop for. In this case, make sure we have Android and iOS ticked because these two are what we're aiming for in this series. So once you've got it up and running, you should have something which looks a little like this screen. This is the new project window. Let's call our project something. So let's call it Notepad App. We have to make sure that the template is going to be 2D because we're doing all of this in 2D rather than a 3D environment. And then select the location right here. And you don't need any S packages. Um, we don't really need Unity Analytics for this, but if you so wish, you can turn it on. And then click on Create Project. And once it thinks for just a couple of minutes, you will have something which looks a little like this. So it's worth noting at this point, while I'm recording this at this very moment in time, I'm using Unity 2018.1. However, this will work for any version of Unity after Unity 5, which came out in 2015. So as long as you're using Unity within the past couple of years, this will work perfectly. Even if you're using Unity 2019, 2020, the process will still be the same. So at this point, let's have a little look at what we have. So if you've got some knowledge of Unity, you know, you already know what this layout already is. If you're brand new, you may have used a couple of other things, maybe Unreal, maybe something like Blender. You will have an idea of what's going on with all these windows here. And generally, this would be great to follow along for any beginner, even if you have some knowledge of Unity and want to try apps. I, this series is going to be fantastic for you because it'll be a nice starting point and then you can venture off on your own and see what you can come up with. So over here we have the hierarchy and the hierarchy is a place where we store all our game objects in text form. So you can see here that I can click on the game object. We only have one in this version. If you are using an older version of Unity, you may have two here. You may have a directional light or something. You know, it's uh, I think it just depends on the version. But yes, this is where we can select any actual object in this scene view. So I'm just going to select this little tool here, the move tool, and you'll see that the object we have selected in the scene view has arrows on it. And we can move things around using these arrows in the scene view. The scene view is where we see everything that we have placed into the game. So if we created a model or something like that, it fits in here and we can see it perfectly. Next thing we have is the game view. And at the moment, it's just a big blue screen. There's nothing to it because we literally have no game to uh, render here. Although we have a camera which will render something, there is nothing to actually see. But when we do try out our app, we will see it in the game view right here. And the asset store is something which we probably won't touch on in this series, but it's where you can get a load of assets and stuff uh, paid for free. It, it's worth checking out, honestly, it really is. So over here we have the inspector panel. The inspector panel is a nice little place where we see tons of different statistics related to the object that we have selected either in the hierarchy or the scene view. So I'll point out here we have nothing selected, absolutely nothing. If we click on this little camera, we actually select by default in the hierarchy. So we can see here, this is called a component. And each actual object within Unity will have a component. By default, they all should have transform. And transform is basically telling you where it's located, how big it is, and if it's rotated or not. All these numbers and statistics relate to that perfectly. 
and this is just an extra component for the camera right here. We'll go more into components sooner or later, probably next episode to be honest, but um, there's tons of different components you can add to each object to make it do different things. So down here we have the project window and this is where we store all our assets. So an asset is defined as something like a texture, something like a model, something like a script maybe. We would store them all down here and we'd be able to see them in a nice view basically. And by default if you go to scenes, if you're using the version I'm using, you will have this sample scene. Sample scene is what this is right here. It's an actual scene that we can load. And I don't think the older versions have this, certainly not Unity 5, uh, but yes, this is classed as an asset as well. Every scene is also classed as an asset. Next, we have the console. The console may be used in this series because it is a good place to tell us if there is, for example, an error in one of our scripts. So if we have a script that we have maybe missed off something or spelled something wrong, it would tell us here what script has the problem and what line it is. Animation is just a way of animating objects nice and simply within Unity itself and I don't think we'll be using it in this series but there are plenty of other series that I do which use this animation tab. One extra thing to note here is that we can move these windows around. So for example the game view we could always put over here at the hierarchy. Hmm, that's good. If not we could always move it down here below and same applies to everything else. We could move the console up over here. And we could also take, let's say, the game view out to be its own little window. It's entirely up to you how you want to lay out your game. So we'll be doing this in a portrait view. So it might be wise to shift your windows around into the right kind of view. And if you go to window, layouts, you can also save your layout. If you don't fancy, creating it yourself. There are a couple of different layouts that you can choose from, as we can see. I have a nice simple one. If I go to Window, Layouts, and Portrait Mobile, and there we go. This is the layout I will be using for this series. So, next thing we need to do is let's start looking at how to develop an actual app. Now, the important thing to note is the platform that we are developing for. So, if we go to File, and go to build settings just here we need to select one of these here by default it is built for pc mac and linux but if you want to develop for ios or android you could just click on them and then click on switch platform so i'm going to aim for android for this one so i'm going to click on switch platform now, it should be relatively quick. Um, generally, if a project gets large, it may take a while to switch platform. But because in this series, the actual app itself isn't really going to be very large, it shouldn't take too long to switch between whatever platform you want to build for. So anything you build in Unity can be built and ported to any supported platform here. There's no limitations. As long as the platform is supported and you have the license, if it's required, you can build it. So Unity is very object orientated, oriented, I should say. Uh, not to say there isn't just as much coding because there is. And generally, everything we introduce into Unity could be classed as an object. So if we close this uh, build settings now and let's go to game object and let's go to UI and let's go to text and you can see that instantly we can't really see much that's actually happened here reason for that is because over here we have these settings which aren't really relating to anything at all so if we double click on this text that is inserted here in our hierarchy we'll be able to see it a little bit better now it's worth noting that a canvas has been inserted and an event system don't need to worry too much about the event system but the canvas is where every UI element so everything we see visually on the screen is stored at least for UI. If we have normal objects normal textures on for example a cube this wouldn't be in the canvas it'd just be in the main hierarchy so just remember the canvas is just for UI. So we have the text down here and you can see it in new text. We need to move this let's say to the top here. So let's go to our inspector panel over here. Position, let's set everything to zero. So zero and zero, 
we'll bring it to the center. So if we double click again, we'll be able to see over here. So remember, the scene view is where we build the actual uh, app itself. And when we press play up here, we'll be able to see it actively in the game window. But because we have both active, we can see what's actually going to be rendered, but we can't actually use what's going to be rendered unless we press play. But there's no point at the moment because we just have this text. So let's work with this text and see if we can get it up here. And let's just say notepad app. So firstly, what we could do is select our move tool. And if we use our middle mouse wheel, we can zoom out. And now we have it selected, we can hold the left mouse button and drag up here. And let's keep it in the center because perfect, that's, that's what you would want. And let's change the text over here. And let's just type in note pad app. So a great way of actually checking if things are going to look just fine is actually pressing play. But like I say, we can already see it here, but let's just see what happens when we press play. Everything will go a little bit darker and we'll be able to see if we actually had something here, what would it look like? That's basically what you would have. You can see the whole scene has gone, or rather the whole engine has gone a little bit darker and this is highlighted. So to stop, you'll press play again. So let's change our color of the text. So if we select this bar here, and then we'll uh, sorry, you'll be presented with a wheel if you're using a newer version of Unity, if it's an old one. Um, I think it's just this actual box here. So let's set this as white. And let's set the font size as larger than what it is. So let's say 28. Now, you can see the text has disappeared and it's disappeared from our scene view here. So let's get that sorted. There's a couple of ways you could do that. You could either change the width and the height here. So let's set the width as 200. Still can't see it. Let's set the height as 50. Can see it. So if we set it back to 30 and then over here, we have a rec tool. If we select it, you'll see that the object itself is surrounded by blue dots. And we can hover over, hold the left mouse button and drag to resize. Now, a great thing about using the rec tool is that you can actually snap things together quite easily. And I'm going to click on alignment center. So we get that dead center. And now if we select the actual object itself, the text, and we can move around like this, you can see that if we snap it to the middle, it has a blue line. And that blue line means it is dead center. So let's move it up. So now this text is dead center because the object is dead center and we have it aligned to the center as well. Now, there's not a lot to really go through uh, in regards to beginning Unity because it is relatively simple. If you've gone through this tutorial and taken your time just getting to grips with things, learning things, learning the layout of things, then you shouldn't really have a problem. So the last thing we're going to do at this point is right click, rename and let's just call this note title. Perfect. So it's always wise to name things within the hierarchy something sensible rather than just having text one, text two, text three, text four, because then it's always relative and you know what that object is if you need to change it. So if we save this scene now, it will save to this sample scene down here and we don't really want that. So what we'll do is file save scene as and let's save this scene as main app and it's stored now in our main and our main actual assets folder rather than the scenes folder generally when i've created things in the past in unity i've always kept my scenes at top level here it's entirely up to you if you want to move your scenes into a scenes folder there's only going to be two scenes in this entire project so we're not going to be overwhelmed with an incredible amount of scenes. So it's up to you how you want to keep that. So that's the end of this early tutorial. That's pretty much all the basics done. From here on out, we're going to get some cool stuff done. Next episode, we are going to look at some buttons. So we need to press things. We need to do things. We'll look at an input box, i.e. where we can type all our text. And we'll start looking at making it look a little bit prettier and using some fonts. So guys, 
Until that next episode, you have your layout how you want it, you get used to it, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.